I think Microsoft has fixed everything that's wrong with sharing files in SharePoint with this announcement. I've been excited to break this news ever since I heard it was coming. In this video, I'm gonna break down this new sharing system, when it's coming, and more. Let's get into it. Now, typically when you're sharing a file, you go to the share dialog, you type in the people's names, you'll maybe hit the copy link button and you'll send it. You'll get a unique link for every time you're you're sharing with a new set of people. That's that ended up with just a bazillion different sharing links across your environment, right? This is where this new system is going to be very powerful. This is one link to rule them all. That's kind of the the gist of this new sharing system. It's it's, it's the hero link. There's just one. That's that's the idea. There is a little caveat though. I'll get into that. But the idea is you don't necessarily even have to go to that sharing option to even get a link anymore. Because whether you're clicking the copy link button, sending an email, or even just copying the URL out of this, the, the address bar in your browser when you're viewing a document, it's the same link. That's so simplistic, right? You could just copy the link out of your browser, send it, and you're done. Microsoft says over a billion people have used the current sharing system. And I think there's going to be at least a billion people who are excited that this that this is going to be easier for them now. One big reason is because it's going to be secure by default. W what do I mean by that? Well, by default, only when you grab that URL, only the people who already have access to that document will be able to access it. If you go to share with some, if you go to, to the sharing dialog, it's going to be defaulting to only the people with existing access. So you don't have to worry about accidentally creating an anyone link or sharing with everyone in the organization. It's going to, to respect the permissions that are already on that document. And so if you have access, you're in. If you don't, then someone has to take additional action to allow you in. So that's going to help uh, reduce the oversharing that everyone who's dealing with Copilot right now, they're all trying to tackle this problem is oversharing because it's just so easy to share with everyone in your organization when that's really not the right approach in every single case. Now, admins can change the default sharing option. So on a per site uh, collection basis or a, across all of OneDrive, admins will be able to to change the default option for any of those uh, any of those sites or OneDrive, which one is it going to be? Is, is it going to be users with existing access or existing users with access, or is it going to be uh, everyone within the organization? And that may that's definitely going to vary whether you're talking about an intranet site or a departmental site. You know, there's lots of different scenarios when you're creating sites when one option is going to be a lot better for the end users uh, because they don't, they have less things to click. They don't have to change the, you know, off of the default because they're trying to share an intranet document with someone, you know, something like that. Now, once you've got that hero link and you already have people who are accessing it, suppose you need to add more people later on. Maybe you need to remove people. Pretty common scenario, right? Well, that's going to be incredibly easy with the hero links because you can update the access at any time, adding or removing people, even in bulk. So you could you could remove multiple people. You could change their access uh, with with not just one user, but many users at this at the same time. But here's the magic. The hero link doesn't change. Let me repeat that. The hero link that you are using, even though you're updating access, the URL will not change. You don't have to resend the URL to people because there's a new link generated. None of that. You just update the access, tell them to try again, and you're done. Really, you're done. Because that hero link is supposed to be consistent. It's always going to be that one link, and you just are managing the access to that link. So, it's a very different shift than what we've been doing with SharePoint, uh, with, with managing sharing, where we used to have a bunch of different links, each one with different sets of access rights. Uh, yeah, they've, they've kind of flipped the entire thing on its head. Another big, big thing to note, and this is incredibly important for IT security, this is going to make them happy.
If you're granting an external user access to a file on the access list, you're going to see a tag that marks them as external. This is going to make it very, very obvious. You are now sharing this file with someone outside of your organization. Just the awareness, just making sure that that is right in front of you, plain as day, is very, very important to prevent accidental uh, data exposure when it could be sensitive content or it could just be something that doesn't need to be shared. And maybe you weren't aware that you grabbed someone's raw, their, their other email address, maybe uh, something like that, where it's like maybe it's their Gmail address instead of their corporate one. So tagging those external users is a really big, big win for data security. Another really good one for security is that users will be able to control who can add or update the access of a file or a folder. So just because someone has edit access or manage, whatever that access is, you as the file owner get to choose. Should only you be allowed to change the access on that file? That's another very big win and a big architecture change as well on the on the back end of how that works so that you as the file owner are always in control of who is sharing your file. Really, really important. And it's going to make a lot more people pay attention to how they're sharing information. It's going to be easier. It's going to be more transparent and they're going to be in control the whole time. Now, I'm only about halfway through covering everything that's in this update, but there's a whole lot more news that's coming out this week, and I'm going to be making sure I cover all of that as well so that you are in the know with what is going, what's coming to your environment. Do you want to know all that stuff? If so, then check the link in, uh, in the description below to my SharePoint Insights email newsletter. It comes out once a week, and it covers all the, uh, the SharePoint roadmap items so that you are in the know with what's happening and what changes are coming so you can start to prepare for it. And this week's edition is going to be very big because it's going to cover all of this news that's been coming out that if you're not at M365 conference, it's going to be a little tough to keep up with all this stuff because there is a lot. The newsletter is completely free, so just check the link in that description and sign up. And let's move on to the next item about this feature. Another big change with this is that you used to have one screen for sharing a file and a whole nother screen for managing access to that file. And that's now changing because share and manage access are now going to be on a single screen. It will let you see everything you need to manage access in one surface. But here's an interesting thing about the hero link. Maybe you've got a particular department that needs access and you want to kind of separate that out from the main users of that file. Maybe it's executive leadership or some other scenario, but you need a way to know where you need to add new users to. There is an additional sharing link that you can create. You can name this, maybe you name it executive leadership team, and in there you can have a different set of permissions and you can add those users to there. So while it is a little confusing because the hero link is supposed to be the one link you share, these other sharing links are basically additional hero links. They'll have their own URL. You could add or remove people to that. And it gives you a way to segment people into different groups. I think this is probably going to be for maybe more advanced scenarios. I don't think the additional sharing links are going to be as used as the current system, how we had a ton of different links. So I, I, I think there's some training needed for users. And I think that the expectation needs to be set that probably, and I haven't tried this system yet, but I think that users will need to try and use the one hero link that comes by default and maybe to really think twice before they're creating an additional sharing link. It, it makes them more security conscious, for one, and it helps IT's uh, data governance process, for two, because there's less sharing links that they have to track through their governance uh, system. It is very cool, though, that you do get to name this, this new link so that you can call it what it's used for, executive leadership 
um, team sharing, something like that. It's helpful for understanding why something was shared. So if you are looking back a year from now and you're trying to see why was this shared with this person, that the name of that sharing link that's really only just visible to, I think, the, the creator of that link or whoever has access to manage that link, they'll understand why this was shared. And that context is something we currently just don't have. So I think that that's going to be very helpful. We'll have to see how this works when it comes out. But before I get into when this is coming out, let's talk about the Copilot integration. So when you're sharing a file out and you send them that email uh, to let them know that the file has been shared with them, there's going to be a new option where you can generate a file summary with Copilot. And that's going to be sent along inside that email so that the users understand what this file is, but without even having to open it up. Great, great use of, of, of Copilot here. Really good. Because I can't count the number of times I've gotten an email from someone and there's a file that, that shared it. I'm like, what is this thing? Uh, the file name stinks. I, I've got no idea what this file is or why you're sharing it with me. Uh, so this will give me a little bit of that context before I just hop on IM and say, what is this? Uh, I've, I've said that uh, that I am a lot in team. So this this really helps out with that. But speaking of those email notifications, you'll have the option to disable the email notification when you add additional people. That's that's a great thing because you don't necessarily need that email if you're talking with someone in Teams and they're saying, hey, let me share this with you right now. You don't like you already know that you have access to this thing. You probably got that email, the hero link sent to you through Teams. So who, it, who needs this extra email? It's just one more thing to delete. Well, you, they'll be able to disable that thing so that you don't get that. Great quality of life feature. So when is this new system coming? That is the big question. Well, it's going to be late 2025. That's that's all we know of for the timing. This this feature is I've seen it working. It looks really good and it, it looks very, very polished. I'm hoping it's in the earlier part of late 25 and not the later part of, of late 2025. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we get it, you know, maybe Q3 of this year. That would be great. It, it may likely just be Q4. Um, but you've got two options to know when this is coming out. You can check your message center uh, from time to time and see when this thing is going to come out. Uh, you'll know, you know, within a you'll know probably right before it comes out, generally, if you're checking the message center. Or, or if you want to get better prepared, then check the link below for my email newsletter, where I'll tell you that date as soon as it's announced. As I mentioned before, that's how I keep y'all informed with all this stuff. That's the easiest way because it comes straight to your inbox every single week. So check that link in the description below. And if you want to see another great SharePoint video, then just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.